What's up guys, it's your boy Demo. Good morning and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. I'm a little late, <laughs> but uh, some good news. We got a lot of information to cover. Well, not really a lot, but some really good information to cover. Uh, first things first though, Automaton Tower. I know a lot of you guys are really upset about Automaton Tower, but they're going to be offering some compensation for having it down. They had to fix some reward information, and you guys will be able to check this out, but it looked like some floors and stuff were not giving rewards or something. I didn't really read through this, but <laughs> except for the part that they were like, yo, this is going to be back tomorrow uh, after the, the patch is done, but this will be available, so we'll be able to do a uh, automaton starting tomorrow post patch so after that happens um if there is a patch and i'll get into this in a second we might be able to see a data mine uh so if the limited hero is coming soon you know what i'm saying we might have to talk about that um as i mentioned in patch prediction before um i figured they they would probably do something like they did today might as well just talk about it <laughs> so anyway guys uh as you guys know desert jewel basar is here um, if you guys haven't seen him, he's already in the game. Desert Jewel Basar is pretty crazy. Probably one of the best skill three animations that I've seen in this game, period. So I, I just realized that his little cat has different color eyes just like him. Uh, but <laughs> when you look at his S3, it's, it's, it's crazy because you see like this thunder cat, like cat just going ginormous and you're expecting like this cat to, uh, to basically <laughs> like deal some damage or something. And he's just like, Rah! He's like meow, and then uh, and then the rest of your team gets buffed or whatever. So with Desert Joe Basar, looks like he's going to be coming in. I know a lot of you guys are like, "Yo, D, should we pull for him? Should we not pull for him? Should we wait?" I have this strong feeling, guys. Like I said before, that I'm gonna pull him in like two summons. So be prepared for the most clickbait title ever. It's gonna say Basar pulled in like two summons, and you guys will see it'll happen. All right, so just be ready for that. And then once we get him six star to get him built, um, I'll test him on some stuff. I want to test him on a couple of things. I want to test him on damage, and I really want to test him as support. Well, I guess really three things, and I want to test him somewhere in between that. And then I'll I'll give you guys the verdict on Basar. On paper, he looks good, but I have to take everything into consideration, especially with his uh, low base stats, you know, etc. So once we really look at that and get a feel for how he actually performs, then I'll give you guys an idea of whether or not you guys should be going pity for the dude or not. Now, for those of you guys who might not have known what Basar does, so basically on a skill one, he attacks the enemy with wind with a 25% chance to stun for one turn. If you soul burn this, it takes 20 souls, it then becomes an AOE, so it's an AOE stun. It goes up to 35% chance to stun if you guys max Mola. His skill 2 basically heals all allies after using Desert Wind. Amount re recovered increases proportional to the target's max health and the caster's attack. For my Summoner's War people, attack scaling heroes remind me of heroes like Mi Yang, right? And you guys remember how ridiculous, well, how bad people thought Mi Yang was in the beginning, right? And then all of a sudden, like, Mi Yang was the new hotness. Once people figured out how attack scaling healing really worked, and then after that happened, then all of a sudden, attack scaling healers came to the forefront. And I think that it's going to be kind of one of those situations here. But again, something we'll have to wait and see. Um, of course, we get the bonus healing here. I don't know how potent his healing is going to be, but it looks like we get 5, 10, 15, 20% bonus healing. So it could be pretty significant. Um, and then when we look at this, Bastet Roars dispelling all debuffs from all allies, increasing their combat readiness by 20% up to 30% and just off top 30% CR push is always good especially since he also dispels all debuffs and applies immunity all right for three turns which could be strong now I know a lot of you guys are probably looking at his kid and be like oh looks up par you know how can how can he can even compare to other heroes but I think there's some some tricks in this kit that's going to actually make him pretty pretty sick but we'll see that here in a few now Let's get into the nitty grit. I know you guys are going to be really excited about this. I didn't anticipate the skill enhancement system. Um, I did anticipate the Molagora refunds. Okay, but 
the skill enhancement system for three stars. I know a lot of us is like, when the hell are we going to use the skill enhancements? Or when, you know, when are we going to be able to use the stigma for enhancements? So for those of you guys who've been saving your stigma, good on you. Because now you'll be able to skill up three stars like that. So listen, I'm just say this off top, you know. Be prepared for all the Momo crying. <laughs> if people weren't crying about Momo or Momo before, they definitely, definitely will be crying about Momo now because now Momo full skill enhanced. You don't have to mola her. Mom Rancy is about to be nasty. All right. So anyway, um, how this is going to work, like I said, is is you're going to be able to use stigma instead of molas. So before with two stars, you needed 18 Molagora. Now you need 5,400 stigma uh, to max kill a two star. Uh, for three star Molagora times 27, okay, is what it used to be. And then now you only need 8,100. So for close to 10K stigma, you can max kill any three star. That's pretty cheap, actually. Like there's, that's really, really cheap because there's been times when I've sat on 60K plus stigma. So that's, that's, that's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. I'm pretty excited about it. So the reset skill period is from 1019 after the maintenance is until January 2nd, 2020, looks like, before maintenance. Now the reset skill function will only be available to heroes that have been enhanced prior to the update on October 3rd. After using the reset skill, all skills for that hero will be reset to level 0. Players will be able to skill enhance to the 3-star heroes even after the skill reset function has been used. Okay. And all materials used for skill enhancement will be refunded. So Molagora Catalyst Gold. Materials refunded will be directly placed into the player's inventory after using the skill reset function. So all those Molagoras that you guys used, I was about to say wasted, <laughs> but invested in 3-star heroes, Captain Rechorus. My Captain Rechorus is plus 10 right now. You'll be able to get all of them back. All right. So there's a few 3-stars that I cannot wait to get back so let, let me tell you that it's funny that they showed our well too because i know a lot of people tested our well so that's going to be something that's uh, going to be available there too uh also uh four to five star hero molagora skill enhancement cost production uh this is going to be big like i mentioned before um the molagora refund is here uh now with this being said guys i figured that they would do something like this because I know it would have just been easy for them to just drop Basar and be like, boom, give us the finger and just be like, just wait. But I think that they'll drop this, like I said, and then at the Epic 7 Festa, or not the Festa, but the Epic 7 Meetup event on Saturday, um, then they're going to tease probably the Limited Banner. And they'll let us know if the Limited Banner is going to be probably this next week coming up. Right, and it it wouldn't surprise me if it was next week coming up, just mainly because because uh, Lilius was that her patch was so small, that, like there was literally nothing there but a hero. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was on the ninth, or at least the event started on the ninth. So that's something I have to look at, and then we'll find out if that if the limited hero is going to be a Halloween themed hero. Or if it's going to just be the limited hero that they planned with a Halloween themed hero within the side story that they've included uh, with, you know, the limited hero itself. So, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I figure it's going to be one of those two things. But, so, with the 4 to 5 star, uh, Mola's before it was 33 Mola here. Um, now it's going to be 27 to max Mola 4 star. So, for every max Mola 4 star you, you have, or, ma yeah, max Mola 4 star you have, you'll get 6 back, basically. And then for every max 5-star you'll have at 42 Mola, you'll actually get 9 back, right? So Judge Kisei, so like my Judge Kisei is maxed, so she'll give me 9, right? <laughs> Anything else that I have plus 15 is going to go ahead and give me the 9 piece. I'm probably I'm probably going to get a significant amount of Mola back tomorrow. I'm pretty excited about it, uh, to be honest. So, so this is going to be pretty cool. So with the 4 to 5 star hero Molagora refund, Molagora and Gold Spin and access of the new system will be refunded to players via the in-game mailbox. Molagora Gold Spin will be refunded in Molagora uh, at a 1 to 4 exchange rate. So I did they get rid of the Molagora Go? Uh, let's see here. After the update, heirs will receive Molagora equal to the amount of Molagora Gora they've spent. Yeah, yeah, we knew that due to the fact that Molagora Gora will no longer be used the exchange option in the shop which allow players to exchange the 25 molagora that will be deleted and then let's see and then the four molagora for one molagora go exchange shop will be deleted and instead players will be 
able to more comfortably exchange Molagora in the skill enhance area by tapping the Molagora exchange button. So we got a UI, UI improvement here. So it looks like, yeah, so maybe he wrote, no. So it, it looks like they'll still be able to use Molagora goes. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it pans out. But anyway, so there's some bug fixes and other convenience changes. Uh, they had some issues where k Realm wasn't able to AOE attack. They had also had an issue where Desert Jewel's additional effect from memory imprint is shown as equivalent of a four-star hero. And that'll be fixed, so that could have some tremendous changes on his stats. And then heroes that have special conditions for enhancing, promoting, or memory imprinting will now display this information. So Kiki Rod is a good example. Cirilla is another good one where you can only feed them to themselves and by themselves. It will tell you right here uh, in red. Oh my god. They've just literally added one of the best features that they could ever add in this game. If you guys look at this, it's a try again button. Oh, bruh. They've literally, like, saved us so much time. Like, so much screen tapping. Because now you have to hit us try again. It'll end the current battle and then just restart another one instead of having to hit yield. Blah, 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 blah. And then start. Now you just hit try again. That's going to be so dope. And I hope that try again... Uh, actually happens after you clear as well because that'll be that'll be good that'll be good yeah you know I man that that'll be really really good also uh the story for nixie sanctum zone 2 frozen lake will be improved uh which is cool and the issue where a hero's dual attack misses despite not being debuffed by execution or carcanus and asmacallus raid mode will be fixed uh, so if they're if they're if they're prepping Nixie Sanctum and then also doing the dual attacks or fixing uh, you know execution or Carcanus to playing with raid, they're probably getting ready for raid here. Um, there's some some arena issues or points were not displayed correctly, and then with the Automaton Tower, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, that's getting fixed as well. Then last but not least, they added some stuff to the game guide, but you guys can see that for yourself. I'll be sure to put these patch notes in the description box so you guys can check that out on your own. But anyway, guys, uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, The Moan, bring you guys another video. Let me know what you guys are most excited about. Like I said, you know, we got Bizarre this week, Moonlight, uh, or not Moonlight, but uh, Mulligora improvements. So I would expect to get the limited announcement here over the weekend. Uh, with the Epic 7 Festa and or uh, the data mine once they release the patch information. I'm sure the limited might be time sensitive, so maybe we might not get access, but that hasn't prevented them, uh, that hasn't prevented us from having or being able to see a data mine from Belt Reynolds before, like, because we saw Seaside Bologna before she was coming. So, anyway, guys, uh, like I said, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone. Bring you guys another video, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.